Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. This is gonna be a quick little tutorial on installing a block heater cable. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. What I have right here is a 2005 F-350 diesel and I believe it's 90, 97 or 99 until 2007, the block heater element was located in the same exact place on all those models. So what I found, I had called the dealership, they ran my VIN number and flat out told me I didn't have a block heater in this thing. So thanks to uh, Diesel Tech One, who uh, unfortunately has passed away, but his channel is up. He's got all kinds of fantastic uh, Ford Diesel stuff on, on his channel. His family is keeping his channel up with all of his videos and uh, as a tribute to him. Fantastic guy. I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to go check out more diesel truck stuff. But I'm going to show you what I found on my diesel truck. Again, it's a 2005 F-350 6.0 and uh, been bulletproofed. But now we're in North Idaho and... It didn't start the other day at minus 20 degrees, so I need to make sure to have the block heater put in. So what's involved with the block heater? There is an element that goes into the block where the coolant cycles through and warms up the coolant and keeps the block warm overnight or however long you have it on. And so there's a heater element that's, a, it's a, that's one part, and then you have the wire harness that plugs into that and then runs up to the front underneath the bumper with a 110 outlet plug. What I found, interestingly enough, and not to say that the dealership was... Um, uh, not being forthcoming, but there's a good chance that the previous owner of this truck had it installed but never put the wire harness in or took it off. So, not sure how it got in there, but I do have the heater element in there. Um, in order to put that thing in, if you don't have one, you need a 9 16th Allen head to take the plug out. Make sure you have the new heater element ready to go to install because the coolant's going to start pouring out. You're not going to lose that much coolant, but if as long as you're ready and you put the new one in, but you can all do it from the passenger side of the vehicle. Let's take a look, take a look at it. So right here on the passenger side of the vehicle, and this is gonna be the side where the starter's at, you can actually see right up underneath the fender well here, and uh, the dogs are going crazy, sorry about that. So guys, you can see the starter solenoid right there, right above the starter solenoid. There's the plug right there, that is the heater element. You can see two, um, sorry, sorry about the focus guys. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer here. There is the heater element right there. And as all I need to do is clean that thing out. It's got a little bit of dirt in there. Clean off those contacts and then the new plug plugs on right there. And the wire harness actually will come down. There is, uh, you have these two holes right here. Just be back behind that on the top of the frame, somewhere right in here. Well, it looks like there's already a wire harness in that plug hole. Should be another plug hole, that's for the starter. Somewhere over here on the top, there's supposed to be another hole. I'm gonna run it along the edge of the frame. I'm gonna go behind the shock tower, and I'm gonna run it up along the inside of the frame, and up underneath the bumper, back up in there. There's the plug, guys. This is the part that goes into the heater element, and you'd think it, they used to have a threaded part, and the threaded part used to uh, spin on there, but now it just has these clips that actually grab a hold of the threads on the heater element but it's got two contacts in there and it looks like there's a ground on the side right here. Sorry about the focus guys. Um, and then the wire harness comes with all of the little tabs in order to plug those into the holes in the frame or whatnot. And then you've got a cap. I'm trying to do this with one hand here with the 110 outlet. So while it's not being used, you want to make sure to keep that thing clean, keep that cap on there. So. Let's get to it. There. Looks pretty clean. Electromotive electric parts cleaner. I'll leave a link down in the bottom for you guys. This is the big can. Man, I use it all the time. There we go. I think I can get my hand up in there. Yeah, that should give you guys a little better vantage point. I'm trying to stick this thing on. I'm looking up at it. I'm trying to push on both sides of that 
if I can get that thing on. There, so I've got the clips on the threads and that thing shoved all the way on. So I think that's good to go. I cleaned out the contacts real good, shoved it on there and it's not gonna come out. So what I do see is that that's my exhaust pipe. That's my header for one side of my engine uh, right here. I don't wanna run my the wire right along there. There are some wires here, but it seems like it's pretty hot right there. Like it would, like it would be pretty hot. And that's where they tell you to run it. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and run it up there. Now i got to fish all this wire through. Well, once I get it to this point right here, the rest of it's pretty home free. And I can thread it, thread it right up into here and on the inside of the frame and down into the bumper. All right, I got it through behind the the shock tower however is notice the idler wheel right there pulley uh, or the compressor that's a little close to it so I'm gonna try and go there's that wire harness right there all right so I got that all installed I'm going to zip tie this thing up right here plug that sucker in right now frame right there I'm gonna push that tab in and I'm gonna leave that thing I'm gonna leave that thing plugged in right there I'm gonna zip tie I'll zip tie I'll zip tie this section right here together but I want that plug accessible and I can take that plug and I can flop it up over the flame frame when I'm not using it all right let's see if this bad boy will start 20 below with a block heater. Oh yeah, baby. No problem. You definitely want to check the, your VIN number with the dealership and see what your truck came equipped with. Uh, if you bought the truck in a snow belt, uh, it's highly likely it already has a cable, uh, a block heater already installed with the cable. Mine, uh, according to the VIN number, did not have the heater element or the cable. And uh, luckily I was able to figure out where that block heater went in and discovered I had the element in there. So all I needed was a cable. But I w paid way too much money because I waited too long to make sure I had that heater uh, element hooked up. So anyway, guys, uh, check the link down in the description. You can buy a cable right off of Amazon. They're great. And the one that Amazon sells actually has got the threaded little nut on there that you can actually thread on. I actually like that one better than the one that I got. You guys can see the one I have. Just has that clip that holds it in there. I think I like the thread on style a little bit better, but um, you guys can choose which one you want. There is a little bit of extra wire in the back. I'm gonna zip tie that up right now, out of the way, keep it away from the exhaust manifold. And uh, hopefully that'll help you guys in uh, locating where the, the element is and how to plug in the wire and make sure that wire is away from anything hot so you don't melt it. So. Guys, thanks for checking out the video, and uh, if you guys have any comments, uh, please leave them in the, in the bottom, and I try and respond to them. Any more ideas or uh, helpful input, that'd be great. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys on the next video.